And then the war began. And then I started kicking space robot butt. There are plenty of video games that you can play as a mech. Mech Warrior, Mech Assault, Steel Battalion, Zone of the Enders, Strike Suit, Zero Metal Wolf, Chaos, Titanfall, Dig Dug, and of course, the classic Omega Boost, to name, well, quite a few. Wait, did I just say Dig Dug? Well, never mind that one. They throw you right into the action at the beginning of the game. Rather than a training mode with mindless bots to beat up, you're thrusted into a tutorial that introduces you to the enemy right away. There are a couple of waves of simple drone space fighters to tear through that give you very little challenge. And then this big guy shows up to try to clean your clock. So, like an 80s Voltron-esque wet dream, you get to sword fight with this enemy mech and it's glorious! During the mech fight scenes, you may lock swords, and there's a quick time event, so you have to win to prove you're the stronger mech. After a few seconds in a peeing contest, you get to vanquish your enemy and take a swig of your favorite drink to celebrate. Man, look at this. Look at this. Ah, uh, yeah, he's trying, he's trying, he's trying. Uh, I got him. Man, that's cool. Die, robot. Die! Come on, man, get him! Come on, come on, get him! And Kerfluey! <laughs> Immediately afterward, you get to pick your class of war tech fighter. Hawk, Lynx, or Rhino. Kind of like uh, picking a drink at the gas station. Small, medium, or gigundus. AKA light, all purpose, and I'll have to pee a lot later. Pick your difficulty level, in which I almost always pick nearly super wimpy. Choose your save spot. And then they give you a nice 25 cent tour around your mothership, where you can upgrade once you have earned enough to swap out parts. And there's tons of them. They even have an R&D department for developing new weapons and parts. Not bad for a cute space outfit, huh? Well, then you get to see all of the Wonderful people on your team sitting around looking busy. Wave hi to Jethro McLean. Eh, he's busy. Anyway, and then there's this other dude over here. Well, he looks a little bit bored. Well, anyway, after choosing your next mission, you're off to start shredding ships into space toothpicks. And they flush you out a la Buck Rogers style. Woohoo! Shoo! When you're fighting waves of fighters, you get the option to finish them off by hitting the square button, and then you get a cool cutscene of you smashing these guys into oblivion. Well, you can skip this if you like with the triangle button, but why in the heck would you? It's freaking fantastic. See? I mean, I'd rather do this than win a junk from a claw machine. I mean, come on. Junk from China? Smash a ship into bits of junk yourself? Great! Woo! Uh-oh, here he comes. Come on. Come get some, big boy. Come on, come get some. Come get some, big boy! Yeah! Now, the whole game just isn't fighting, shooting, and smashing. You do have to perform some rescues, you have to find some parts, perform investigations, search for upgrades, and a whole host of other story-driven actions that usually would bore me silly. But in this game, it just drove the story right along. In this instance, we're searching for clues in the wreckage field, but we're not sure what the clues are. Now, there are shining points of light to show you where you need to look, and sometimes you yield absolutely nothing. And then you find exactly what you need to progress the story along. Raw materials to repair your comrade's ship. You're welcome, baby bird. Fly away. Oh, yeah. And then, after a delightful little trophy. Well, this game has pretty decent storyline, and I'm not too much into most game storylines unless, while they're intriguing, actually make sense in connection with the game and they aren't childish drivel. See my video on Kanagawa Jet Girls if you want to hear about kindergarten-like storylines and drivel. Ugh. 
Yes, more mechs kicking the crap out of each other. I bet he wished he'd trained a little more, because I'm slicey-dicey, twice as nicey. Come on, baby, come on. I'll show you the fun side of the sword. Oh, man, looks like he's wimped out and ran. Uh. Yeah, stick it to him. Chop. That's right, baby. Mission complete. Pat Dr. Scott in the back again. Oh, it wasn't that big of a deal. Come on, I'm just having a little bit of fun. But anyway, back in the upgrade bay, you can upgrade anything. Head, arms, torso, legs, shield, as well as the weaponry attached. Trust me, the upgrades are almost limitless. And after a few smart purchases, you're back on the road again to keep kicking more space robot butt. Woohoo! Here we go! Wow! So here we are, extracting raw materials for charging up and creating better weaponry. See? The R&D department is always hard at work to make better weapons for you. I guess that guy wasn't as bored as I thought he was. He was sitting there doing computer things and making better weapons. Thank you, Mr. Strange Guy back at the mothership. Oh no, more of these guys. Hey, I'm searching for raw materials here. Go away! Well, they won't listen to me, so I have to send them off into the suite by and by. Well, listen, there are mech games. And then there's War Tech Fighters. The true successor to a Mega Boost, in my opinion. Here's one more for the road, closet dwellers. Enjoy. Thank you for stepping into the game closet. Please like, share, and subscribe. Smash that little bell so you know when new videos drop. Look below. You may have missed those videos. Check them out. I dare ya.